it's just for juniors and seniors, so you join with something to look forward to. Um, but just for you guys to know, they were talking about the career expo that's coming up. Um, I highly recommend going to it, getting a feel for the companies that are there, what they're looking for, um, to get your resume together. Like it's what October twelfth. Yeah. Yeah, it's October. It's October twelfth. So mm -hmm. if you want to make a resume or just even go in, talk to them, um, ask what type of internship opportunities they have for your major, um, ask about how they hire freshmen, things like that. Um, I know I went to one my freshman year and. It was intimidating, but once you go to them more and more and talk to people, you you feel more comfortable, and so I found it very helpful to go to that. Um, that's about all that I have. Since we're on the topic of um, the career fair, I just it it is really good for you guys to go and you know wear you know something nice like a nice suit or whatever, so you look professional and have a resume with you. Because I got my first internship at the fall career fair my freshman year, so it, a lot of companies. <laughs> When you go talk to the company reps, they'll be like, well, you know, come talk to us in a couple of years because a lot of companies do want to wait to hire interns, you know, in their junior, senior year, but it can't hurt to try. And, you know, you might get lucky and find a company that's willing to hire a freshman. So definitely, if you have time, you should go. And if not, there's another career fair in the winter. Yeah. And you can go to that, and then you'll be on your game ready to go and get internships. So, okay. I, my group is Casual Connect, well, I'm going to introduce myself, sorry. Uh, I'm Christine Kopa, I'm a senior in chemical engineering, and my group is Casual Connect, and it sounds like what the name is, it's all about casual settings, not necessarily specific engineering centered activities, a few maybe, but more just things sort of to do around Columbus or at Ohio State, and you're supposed to connect with each other. The interesting thing about this group is there's no professionals in this group. So it's meant for more of a student-on-student, -student peer mentoring situation. Um, some example like activities will be possibly going to the WEX, which is the art museum that's on, on Ohio State's campus for a tour, or going to an Ohio State um, sporting event, going to dinner at a restaurant, or getting coffee with a group. Another idea I thought for this fall will be um, a cookie exchange. So the theme of all these events are getting together, hanging out, we can talk about classes, we can talk about Ohio State stuff, we can talk about life stuff, anything that comes across. So it's much more of a relaxed situation so that there's no professionals, you don't have to make sure you're on your toes or <laughs> anything like that. But not in the other, any of the other groups are all very relaxed too. But <laughs> there's no chance of that in mine. And then um, our eConnect leader is not here, but Kelsey's going to um, talk about it. Hi, I'm Kelsey. Um, what eConnect is, is it's for people that are really busy. So if you guys are like, oh my gosh, there's so many things I want to join and everything looks so cool, eConnect may be for you because it's all online. So I don't know if you guys have um, signed up for Carmen yet, but probably all of your classes. 
two events per quarter um, is much higher. So, especially if you know we're doing lots of campaigns. So, but basically, it'll, it'll tell you um, how many sessions you've done. So, once you do a session, um, our lovely leaders will upload and say, okay, you were here or not. And um, it'll help you keep track. It'll help us keep track. Um, so the calendar uh, will be where you can see everything that's going on. So. Questions, 